Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2 and I've had an idea, but we're going to have to cheat a little bit. So in order to make this work, we need Earth to orbit Mars, which is impossible because Earth has more mass than Mars. So we're going to lock, come on, we're going to lock the radius of Mars. We're going to make it two times the mass of Earth. So right off the bat, yes, I'm admitting right off the bat this is not possible, but it'll look cool, and that's a lot of this game. So we're going to make the Earth orbit Mars, and we're going to have Mars steal the Earth's oceans. We're going to have it just steal the water from the Earth. Is that going to work? I think so. Oh, wow. So way too effective it did not steal the oceans it just stole earth in general um okay well the size of mars increased very quickly and somehow only earth remains that doesn't make much sense let's try again what we need it really is for the earth to vent the material out to mars so actually we could do this with Mars orbiting Earth, and then just vaporize Earth. So if we had Mars orbiting at a distance that would just keep it warm, not melt it. Let's just make sure that it's not melting. Okay, looks good to me. Minimum temperature still negative 150, uh, which means we're going to have to go a little bit closer actually. Try this. Eh? Okay, that's very close. Minimum, okay, it's not enough temperature to make much of a difference. But whatever, this is good enough for what we're going to be doing. Mars is going to heat up once these really hot remnants of Earth hit it anyways. So what we need to do is we need to boil the oceans off Earth, which means raising Earth's temperature a little bit above 100 degrees. Now we could cheat to do this, or we could do it legitimately, we're gonna do it in between. <laughs> we're gonna just use a laser um, that has been dialed down a lot because this laser is kind of stupidly powerful. There we go. Well, what did that do? Earth's uh, maximum temperature is now 42 degrees, but the average temperature is still 13. Ooh. But look at that, you can really get the maximum temperature of one tiny point up. But the radius is only 200 kilometers, it's kind of this one. There we go, big, big area of Earth. Boom. Boom. Big, big hit there. <laughs> We're just gonna melt all of the ice on the surface. It's gonna be pretty great. Average surface temperature is going up pretty quickly. Let's, oh wow, look at that. It's just goodbye everyone in America and South America. We're melting you all. Excuse me, do I see humanity? Goodbye. Wow. Breathtaking. Funny thing is, in like cold areas, it actually causes cities to form for a second. But Earth, Earth still, the average temperature is only 30 degrees. Ugh, oh, geez, we gotta get it up. 34, 35. 37, 38, 40. Ugh, oh, the maximum temperature isn't even that like high. There we go. 300 degrees, 400 degrees, 500 degrees. Not hot enough. <laughs> okay, we need to increase the power. We're just gonna double the power. R slash Noda. Oh my god. Come on! Okay, 80 degrees, 90 degrees. Yay! The average surface temperature is now enough to make the water evaporate. Okay. Now, is it enough to get the water to vent? That's the question. Like, water evaporating is great, but we need it to literally leave the surface. Now, as I get pretty, pretty hot for the Earth to just start spewing out its lighter elements, so... 200 degrees, not enough. Let's try making it a little bit more powerful. Okay, the oceans are just going away at this point. We can see some melting going on in the uh, 
Northern Hemisphere just because I'm hitting it with so much. Okay, it's starting to glow. Get in there. Get in there. A thousand degrees. This We're getting close to the point at which it's going to start just shooting out material. 1200. Very nice, very nice. Let's start paying attention to the lower parts of Earth. They haven't been getting much love. There's still some water down there, actually. Come on. Come on! Looks like we actually need more heat. Holy moly. Okay, let's just do times two again. This this is going to do it, though. Like, the rate at we, which Earth is heating up is actually insane at this point. And now it's just a white hot ball of death. Come on! <laughs> okay, it just. Earth is being very stubborn, I'm gonna be honest. Putting up quite the fight. Does not want to give up any of its material. Come on, Earth! Gotta share! <laughs> Oh my god, 4,000 degrees and it hasn't even started yet. Oh, has it begun? I think I might see a little bit of material coming off of Earth. Starting to get blue, oh, yep, there it is. There it is, we're starting to see it. And now we just have to hope a little bit of that hits Mars. Now these are the lighter elements that are coming off first and uh, since Water has a lot of hydrogen, and it, it, water is much lighter than a lot of the stuff that's on there. So it's going to reduce first along with hydrogen. But hydrogen isn't really going down very quickly, so I think that we need to actually heat things up even more. Now it's starting to get uh, a little bit crazy. See, the mass of Earth isn't really going down, though, so we know that it's not going very fast at all. So, we attack more. <laughs> We're just gonna do more until we start seeing the hydrogen percentage drop. It's not hot enough. Oh, that's it. It dropped by a tiny bit. It's starting to speed up. There we go. That's exactly what we want. Very nice. So, after the hydrogen's gone, the water's gonna be next. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, be Oh, shoot! Earth just literally exploded. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to do this method number two, because I know it'll work better. We're gonna have to just evenly heat it, which is really annoying, because it doesn't look nearly as cool, but... Whatever, if we have to do it that way, we have to do it that way. We'll do it the cheaty method. Go ahead and get the surface, get the average surface temperature, and just... Wow. Okay. Great. And let's just heat things up. There we go. And that... actually did not get rid of any of what we wanted to get rid of so time to heat it up more i guess there we go service temperature it's not actually letting me change it from there so that's unfortunate let's try 8000 degrees now it's starting to get rid of the hydrogen See, these little bits coming out weigh nothing. They literally weigh nothing. So it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> doesn't mean anything at all to us. We just gotta keep going hotter. Let's go ahead and bring the average surface temperature up to 10,000 degrees. Oh, there we go. That vented literally everything. Did Mars get any of it, though? Nope. Got a little bit of hydrogen, but no water. That's unfortunate. We're having a really tough time here. 
Okay, let's give it one last shot. I mean, we now know that it has to be like 9,000 degrees. We've got the temperature down. We can get Mars closer, probably. Oh, no. Okay, Mars just ate. Mars got eaten. That wasn't good. That's not what we wanted. Mars, I just want you to steal Earth's ocean. That That's all. All I want you to do. Easy task. Nope, nope, you're dying. That is not the goal. The goal is not to die. <laughs> How many times do I have to explain this? Okay, great. So let's set Earth to 8,000 degrees average surface temperature and see what happens. Okay, right off the bat, the hydrogen's gone, the water's gone. Okay, let's set the Earth back to a reasonable temperature since it's already done. 20, boop. Mars, pick one of those up. I wonder if I can help it. Yeah, let's help it. I mean, the amount of effort we went through. So this one is literally 100% plasma water. So now if this were to come off, and it were to hit Mars. I know this is a little bit cheaty, but it's pretty hard to get to like happen naturally. Um, excuse me, are you just too plasma-y to be picked up by Mars? Really? You're just gonna- okay, so we'll turn down your temperature a bit. Uh, wait, is its composition gone? What? Where did it go? What? Okay, this one is 100% water. As well. Maybe it's Mars takes it when it hits it? I'm honestly quite confused. Quite confuzzled here. How did you end up over there? <laughs> this is pretty confusing. Um, these physics don't make much sense. Oh, you've still got your velocity. Okay, that's why. Okay. Mars literally just eat it. It's like, Mars is like a picky eater. Yeah. So, Mars took the mass. So does Mars have water now? Like, that's the question. Yes! Mars does have water now. We did it. Enough water? Probably not enough water to make any difference. It's like 0 0.0000390%. But, hey, it's something, I guess. I mean... Fine. Oh, there it is! Oh my god, that's it. That little spot right there is all the water. Okay, so, is it efficient? No. Is it smart? No. Does it make any sense to do? No. But, Mars did steal Earth's oceans. It's just like you run into the bank and you only, when you rob it, you only get $10 out of it. So why did you spend all that time and effort and risk getting arrested for $10? But whatever, good enough. We're going to call it quits. Um, I don't think I can do better than that. I tried my best, okay? This was actually a suggestion, so I really wanted to make it work, but... That dot right there is our symbol of success. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. But if, if, let's see how much water we have to increase for it to actually be noticeable. Yeah, I thought it would be quite a bit. And I think it has to be like, not like 1%, but a fraction of a percent at least. Set minimum temperature to 20. Now we can just slowly increase the amount of water. There we go. And then if you go ahead and change the maximum temperature also to 20. What the heck? The water should be liquid. <laughs> what are you doing, Mars? Why are you like this? Oh, it's because... It's definitely because the, uh, what's it called? What's it called? It's because there's no atmosphere. Um, it's messing with the boiling point and stuff. Let's go ahead and add an atmosphere to make this 
easier. Hello, atmosphere, I'm looking for you. Atmosphere, <laughs> atmospheric mass, one atmosphere. Bam, look at that. I mean, maybe, maybe if it was moving more slowly, maybe it wouldn't get ejected like that and it would be better off. Um, I'll do more testing in the future. Tell me if you were able to get it to work better on your own, but it looks cool at least. I mean, if it were to work perfectly, but thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.